Every day, Golf Cart Garage gets calls and emails, just like this one. Tom, whom we're considering hiring as a joke writer, sent in an email that says, Hi Dave, every time I start up my Yamaha G29, it squeals like Henry Hill. Should I change a belt or is there something else to look for? So it's time for Ask Dave, right now, on GCG TV. Hey, thanks for stopping by the Golf Cart Garage. Today, we're going to take a look at changing out the drive belt on our Yamaha G29 because of a squealing noise on acceleration from a worn belt. Although this model is also called a Yamaha Drive, so to be fair, even the seat belts on this one are technically drive belts. Are there crickets in here? Anyway, today we'll be replacing the drive belt in the engine compartment on this one, which allows the drive clutch, also called the primary clutch, on the engine to spin the driven or secondary clutch in the rear to turn the transaxle. The good news is most every Yamaha engine compartment works pretty much the same way, so this should help even if you're not driving this particular model. We start by putting the cart in neutral, which looks like this behind the forward reverse lever. This will allow the clutches to both spin freely. There's a lot of slack in this belt, and on acceleration, the primary clutch pulls toward the engine to grab the belt and spin it. This results in the squeal that some drivers hear once the belt is worn down. To remove the belt, we spin the secondary clutch while using the slack to allow the belt over the outer clutch sheave. This should allow the whole belt to come loose and be removed from the primary clutch pretty easily. The replacement goes on in reverse order by putting the new belt over the primary clutch and rolling it into place on the secondary clutch. It's a pretty simple remove and replace, but you may want gloves to avoid your hands being pinched or getting really dirty. Truth is, you can also take a caliper measurement of under 30 millimeters as a sign that this belt may be out of spec and needs to be replaced, but the squeal is also a pretty sure sign of an issue. There was definitely some wear and tear to the edges of this belt, but it may not always be visually obvious to everyone. Now that we've replaced the belt, it sounds better and drives better. So if your cart makes a high-pitched noise like Mariah Carey on a bender, we hope you've enjoyed this quick crash course tutorial. But if you need help with diagnosis, parts, projects, or anything else, just stop by GolfCartGarage.com or give us a call at 1-800-401-2934 so we can help show you around the garage. Give us a like and subscribe for more episodes, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching GCGTV.